everyone and welcome back to another video of my YouTube channel. And before we get into the card for today, I wanted to show you the Lawn Fawn exclusive release for Stamp Timber. It is called Nutty or Nice and it is totally adorable with this cute little snowman and all these little uh, squirrels running around and stuff that you can create endless scenes with this and it's so fun. So it is exclu exclusive and it only will be around until supplies run out. So um, check it out. I'll have a link for it down in the video description below. Okay, now on with the card for today. I'm using this Simon Says stamp set, One Cool Pineapple. This came out in a kit earlier this summer, and I have been wanting to make a card with this, and oh my gosh, summer was just so busy. But I'm now getting time to create more projects and things, and so I had to pull out this set and make a project with it. And I am going to be coloring up the flamingo and the water with my Arteza watercolor pencils. The colors in this set is a 72 piece set and the colors in this set are just beautiful. There are so many uh, different shades of each color. Um, you can really color up just about anything with this one set and the price point on Arteza products are awesome. I will have that linked in the video description below as well as the set of watercolor uh, brushes, uh, water, water brushes that um, Arteza has and you get a fine point all the way up to a wide one. They're good size, they feel good in your hand, they got a, the nice rubber grip, they got a, a good size barrel, holds lots of water, so I will have those linked in the video description below as well. So I stamped my image with VersaFine and I used uh, Wow embossing powder and I'm just uh, now heat setting this, melting it all real good and making sure it's all nice and shiny and then I hit it a little bit on the back to try and straighten them out a little bit from all that um, heat, heat embossing on there. And then I'll just wipe off the extra powder and stuff. Okay, there's that set of watercolor pencils. You get three trays of just quickly showing you all those pretty pretty colors and I've done some florals with it and just really really turned out well. So now I'm just uh, sketching in my water and for my water I used AGM Blue and now for the darkest of my uh, Flamingo I think that is Plum. I used Plum Pink Macaroon Peaches and Cream Aegean Blue and I, uh, Noir and uh, Yellow Sapphire were my colors that I used. And so I'm, I took my darkest one and laid it down in the, you know, shadow area of where he would be the darkest, he or she, uh, the flamingo would be the darkest. I'm hitting the end of the beak with the black and then uh, the legs with this kind of uh, fleshy color. I think that's the peaches and the cream. And then I'm just going to take my water brush and start spreading the color around. And it really moves very easily. You don't have to scrub at it real hard or anything. And uh, if, uh, if you get too much water coming out of your water brush, I always keep a, a paper towel handy to blot it off. But I really didn't have that much trouble with that. Um, I think as long as you don't squeeze and you just kind of let it flow, you know, naturally it, uh, you don't usually get a whole lot of water that comes out. And so then I took a, a bit, bit of a bigger brush and I started working on the water and I didn't have any water inside this barrel yet. So, but I had a cup of water off to the side. And so that's what I, I keep dipping in my, my cup of water. So you can easily use these brushes either way with having the water in the barrel or just having a little uh, you know cup set to the side. So this this card really took no time at all to put together. Um, it is a, a fairly you know light color palette but I thought it seemed um, you know real summery being all light and everything. Okay so what are we going to do next? Oh yeah I decided I wanted some sun rays. That's what the uh, yellow sapphire was and so I just quickly sketched in some rays and I should have went back and did a second coat on this so it would be a little bit more uh, predominant. I can you know I can see it in person but it's really hard to film um, but I think I could have went darker with it. Watercolor always dries back 
you know, lighter than um, what it looks like when it's wet. So I, um, I should have let that dry and, and put another coat on, but I didn't, and I, I did have to sop up a little extra water there. As I said, always just have a, a dry paper towel handy. And so I just wanted to go in underneath my little flamingo and, and um, put some shadow in with the blue, make it a little darker. And then now I'm trying to decide what else to do. And so I want to put in some sky. So I'm taking some tumble glass distress oxide and I'm using the uh, craft mat that came off of my glass media mat. And so that uh, was just real handy. I could just put that down real quickly and not mess up my you know whole little work surface that I have here. I uh, haven't used my glass media mat just a whole lot yet. I'm still you know working with it and and trying to get used to it, but I think it's going to be a really cool tool to have. So I'm just using my MFT cloud stencil and just going down my page and adding some clouds in. And now I'm taking some tea dye in the distress oxide and trying to make some uh, ground around the little pool of water that the flamingo is standing in, but it, that wasn't very dark. So I took ground espresso and that really uh, darkened it up, you know, to the, what I was looking for and went just underneath the uh, edge of the water just a little bit. And then I kind of blend that it out, blended it out <laughs> with the tea dye. So at, at this point, I, I thought I was done, but it was still looking a little n not so done. Um, and here I'm just taking that dry paper towel and just getting the uh, extra inks and uh, the watercolor pencil off of my words and things. So I'm going to put foam tape on the back and pop it up on my card base. And I just coated it really good. That way, uh, if I send it through the mail, it won't uh, bend or collapse or anything. And I take my Teflon bone folder and really mash this down so it won't come off. And then peel the liners off of the adhesive and stick that to the front of my card. And, and then now I'll go in with some Nubo drops. And my Nubo drops are ebony carnation pink and bubblegum blush that oh uh, I did put um, some Nuvo aqua shimmer on the water to give it the little shimmery look so like it's glistening in the sun and that little baby bottle of the uh, bubblegum blush uh, that came in a card kit too so you get all sorts of fun supplies in card kits. I just I just love getting my card kit every every month. It's like Christmas or your birthday once a month. It's it's great. So I always try to uh, remember to squeeze out a little bit of my uh, drops prior to going to my paper um, because sometimes there can be some air in the nozzle and if uh, you don't squeeze a little bit out you can get this and that can be a mess. But anyway, so here I added my, my drops and I'm going to shake them down, but it still didn't look quite right. And um, that's what it looks like before I added grass with some Copic markers. And I think that just made the card come totally together. And now I think it's adorable. Love it. Um, I will have all of my supplies linked in the video's description below and over on my blog. I'll be back soon with another project. Thanks for watching.